everyone, welcome back to another episode of the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be continuing off from the previous episode where we finished the modal box and we got it rendered in our layout. Uh, so all that is good and well. Uh, so what we need to do now is if we take a look over here, you'll see that it's still empty. So what we want to do in this episode is we're going to fill out the modal box with actual content. Now, let me go uh, through the code and actually explain a little bit about what's going on. Uh, so since this is, um, you know, a lot of what I'm going to do in this episode is something we've already covered, like writing the SAS, creating the form. So I don't want to bore you guys with the details. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have the code base already prepared. So I'm going to like do a code walkthrough. Uh, I'm not going to skip anything. Uh, but essentially what we want to do is just get the form up. Uh, it's not going to be wired up or anything, you know, and then when it comes to wiring it up and connecting it, connecting it to the server, doing the actual uh, request to the API and all that will do that like on screen with everybody. Uh, so right now, just the view. So I'm going to explain a little bit about the structure. So um, let's ignore this accounts directory. We had account component uh, based on the previous episode and we had the welcome. And basically uh, when there's nothing, uh, we render this example component. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this example component over here. And I have another component I prepared for the accounts and there's two components inside. So the sub component. Uh, and basically what it is, is just a collection component and then the new component because, you know, what we want to do is have the ability to have like the, the new, uh, like a new com uh, account form when we want to create an account. But at the same time, we want to be able to render the account, uh, you know, you know, like the collection of account if the user already has multiple accounts. So uh, there's two components related to the account. So I kept it all in one folder. So what we're going to be doing, let's take a look at the collection. The collection is exactly the same as what it was, uh, the accounts component. All I did was I moved all this into the collection. And then basically we're going to use a collection as, you know, the collection of the accounts from here on out. So what that means is we can actually delete the accounts component here. Uh, and then basically, uh, you know, use this one instead. So I'm going to rename this one here, uh, remove the underscore so we can use the accounts and it has an index. So, you know, there's sub components in there uh, and basically we want to call on the new accounts and the collection. Uh, you know, on the welcome package. So basically we can remove this example uh, as well. So we can remove the example component that we put in the moto box. So in the moto box now we can actually put in a real form like that we're going to be actually using like it's a full fledged form. So uh, let's remove this guy here. Uh, and then what I want to do is then basically um, here as well, we want to not use accounts. Uh, we want to use accounts dot collection. So basically, you know, if we have uh, this, you know, render dashboard is going to check that, you know, if we have an uh, account already, we want to just show the accounts collection. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Um, and, you know, if we don't have an account, we come to the welcome package, we want to render the accounts dot new component. Uh, so let's import the accounts component over here. Uh, very quickly. So import accounts from accounts. And then basically here we can render in the set content accounts dot new. So like that. So let's check and see if this actually works. So nothing I just did there is anything new. We've already covered all this before. Um, you know, I have two components here. So this is just a standard component with the form. So this is actual uh, f stuff for the form. And it's just standard, you know, HTML. Like there's nothing, I'm not covering anything new. Uh, no new concept here. Everything is already based on what we've done before. Um, and then I have an index file here, which has a new in the collection. And the collection is basically going to be a collection of accounts. Uh, just to give you guys a bit of a recap. Uh, so here we have accounts.new. So technically, if I reload the page, uh, we should be seeing the new form. So actually, something broke. So let's see. It says that uh, this file is missing. So let me close this and start it over because we deleted the accounts component that was already you know, kind of like in memory with uh, Webpack. So that's why it's complaining. But now we should be good to go. So I'm going to head back over here, do a reload real quick. Uh, I also want to mention something that um, I also updated the um, in our index file. Uh, I also updated this Fronto API before it was the you know just API, but I updated to a new version of Fronto API. So in case you guys are doing that, just do this. 
uh, add uh, curly braces because now there's another component in there. I'll talk about that some other time. So just by doing that, everything should be working. So let's hop back to the welcome package, uh, head back to the browser, do a reload. Everything is working. I click here, you see we have a beautiful looking form over here. Now, uh, the form is going to have everything we need in order to set up a, an account, like the company name, the default currency, the address, taxpayer ID, the VAT rate. So everything we set up on the server side uh, you know, is basically now here and we have access to it like uh, as, as a form. So I'm going to do a little bit of a walkthrough of how I created the form. Uh, so I'm going to head over into the new over here. So you'll see there's a new.js and then there's a new.sas. So this is basically um, you know, the, the, you know, the, the style sheet uh, for the, the form component. Uh, and this is kind of like the content, the HTML that goes uh, around everything. So you can see here I've had uh, styles.wrapper. So let's take a look at styles.wrapper. It's just background white, give it a bit of padding uh, on the top and bottom. So that's how you see this top uh, area and bottom area having that padding, as it says. And then basically we have an H1 over here. Uh, say, let's create an account. So it's just a friendly, suggestive uh, wording that, you know, well, let's create an account. And basically I did uh, make it color black font weight 100 and text align center. So that's why it's in the center of the moto box. Uh, let's take a look at the form. So I have the form over here, the styles of form. Uh, and basically, um, you know, I'm using the pure form stacked. Uh, this is from pure CSS. Again, we already covered pure CSS in some episodes back. So take a look at that if you haven't already seen it. Uh, and then we have styles of form and that is the the you know the the class that basically governs everything so i limited the width to 400 and that's why and using the margin zero auto that's why we have this space on the side so a bit of spacing kind of give it room to breathe i think it looks pretty nice um, and then we label so these are the labels uh, and i have the label color black font weight 100 so standard stuff nothing really special here uh, and also unified the the input text area and select margin uh, you know, just to, for the spacing between these labels and the text area. Uh, again, nothing special. And I also did a resize none. So this is a little bit special. So the text area usually comes with a resize in the corner. So I don't want any of that stuff. So I just did a resize none. Then I set the height to 6 EM and then here we are. So this is basically all uh, there is to it. Uh, so yeah. So uh, this is a free episode, but we have other member exclusive content. Uh, so check that out if you haven't already seen it. Uh, the subsequent uh, episodes may or may not be uh, free. Uh, you know, the next episode is definitely not free. It's going to be for members only. So uh, if you want to continue learning with us and go out with us on this journey, uh, subs uh, subscribe to our channel, of course, so you can get updates and also become a member so you can access to the member exclusive content. Um, so yeah, in the next episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take this form and we're going to wire it up and then we're going to send the request to the server. And then, uh, you know, we'll talk about validations and all that stuff. There's already some basic validations. So if I click create over here, it's going to say, please fill out this field. But it's it's the validation that comes by default with the browser, which in most cases is good enough. But if you want to do server side uh, validation with, you know, a React component like this, how do we do it? We'll discuss all this and more in the upcoming episodes. So with that, I want to wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next episode.